I had some right and question last week around said, what's your favourite bird? Well, the pinch I thought about it. I said, probably the chaffinch. He said, I would even talk on it next morning. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a trap. All right, so I guess what got you involved with these birds? Well, I thought they were very stylish bird. Yep. Beautiful burst of song, which yeah. isn't sung anymore. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Kevin McLeod. Well, I've seen the Kevin McLeod a few times at the room. They have a look at all the birds. Yes. Yeah. I saw lots of cabbies. So how many, what season is breeding for them and how many are in a clutch? Well, generally three to four eggs, most likely three eggs, I found, occasionally four. Yeah. Quite often they'd only rear two. The mm -hmm. smallest one that she'd sit with the second egg probably, the yeah. smallest one would get emptied out. Yeah. But uh, they'd have a double clutch if it wasn't real hot. Yeah. If it got real hot weather, they'd pack up. Yeah. But, uh, so was it around winter time over here? That you were oh, springtime they spring. went to the nest, yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. like a early spring they'd go to the nest. But, uh, particularly after rain. And what did they spend their time? Like, are they a ground bird or up in the perches? Well, they're very active birds. Yeah. Over here, they're everywhere. Yeah. yeah, lots of movement. Yeah, lots of movement. Mm -hmm. I, I thought they were a magnificent bird. Yeah, I really loved having them. I've got a question up the back. Yeah. Um, how do they go to the last How do they go to the last How do they go and mix species exhibits? Well, I had. Uh, St. Lunas in with them, I had Cordons, I had uh, Redheads, I had Double Vars, I had Cardinals. So they went pretty well. Yes, yes, I had Weavers for the same way. Yeah. So come breeding season, would you separate them or did no. you just have the pairs and then you had some mixed species? No, no, they were separated and they all happily went to the nest in oh, different cool. parts of the apiary. Yeah. I'd say it was about 20 feet square, which was the bird. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't find them uh, aggressive toward other species. So. Yeah, and they didn't get picked on by anyone? No, it's a while ago now. It's about, yeah. <laughs> it's about 20 years since I lived down. Yeah. We've got old, too old to look after birds. Unfortunately, we've got to look after them. Yeah. Now we have to get the right answers. What kind of maintenance diet would you have for chaffinches? I just said canary seed, a bit of millet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just seed. Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, but I, I, I give them a lot of a green tube. I cut yeah. a lot of millet and, you know, bush millet and uh, any seeding grass, summer grass. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Actually, I got out the car, but I always had a little cow bag with me yeah. and a knife. And I saw a beautiful patch of summer grass on somebody's strip outside their fence, so I got the like car and was slashing away at that, and an old bloke come along and he looked at me. Well, I said, gee, it's hard work cutting a lawn with a little wife like this, it's all they let me have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take it. Well, yeah. I was an idiot. It wasn't far wrong, of course. Uh, so, come, come into breeding season, would you change, you said that you would change their diet when you saw that you thought that they had young, but would, were there any triggers that you found with their diet? Well, I, I gave them uh, white ants all the year round. Oh, okay. so, yeah. Yes, so I treated all year round then. Yes, yes. So, yeah. but of course they just say white in their yeah. desire for live food. They seem to be fully insectivorous the first few days anyway. But yeah. I say they love, love something a bit big. And was it the males or the females that incubate the egg? The females. <laughs> Well, I think if I remember right, it was mostly the hen that did the incubating. Yep. Yep. So it's a while now. <laughs> yes, Sarah. <laughs> so, with your breeding, did you ever come up across any interesting hybrid colours or crossbred colours? No, no, they're all normals. Yeah. I uh, never saw any mutations, no. I believe they will hybridise with canaries. I've read it counts it. In, in, oh, really? Yeah. Yes, in English books, I hybridise them with canaries. Yeah. And, and, uh, and goldfinches too. Also, oh, there we go. Uh, I say canaries will rear them quite happily too. Yeah. But I like them to rear their own. Yeah, do their own job. Yes. Mm. Okay. Did anybody have anything they'd like to ask? Um, would you like to mention anything? Oh, I don't think so. I think I've mentioned just a bit. It's all right, good go. No questions, oh, guys? I'd say their, their song was the thing that got me too. Do you have? Do you Ring have out the song? all day long. Do you have the song? No. No. Go home and use it. I'm a great singer. There you go. <laughs> no, I don't have any electronic gadgets. Thank you, Sarah.